Oh, okay, it's a turvy twist. Okay, I'm going to show you how I comb and put leave-in in my hair. I can only do it wet. I just washed it, so when it's dry, I feel like I'm going to bright rip it out. I use Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Cream. I've been using this for a little over a year now. This whole thing will last me like a month. So this is awesome. It helps me comb it, and it helps when I leave my hair down, because I like to wear my hair down a lot. Otherwise, it tangles really bad. relatively resilient and it's kind of coarse so I haven't really noticed any problems with it. I have to do all of this wet. Everybody says don't comb your hair wet, don't braid it wet. But everybody's hair is different. My hair I can only do it wet because otherwise I feel like I'm going to break it off. And I wash it every day. I use a lot of conditioner, shampoo, and I oil it at night so it seems to help. It keeps it from getting really dry. Make sure that it's all in there good and then I'm going to comb it. This is the only way I can comb it is when I put leave that in it. I can't comb it otherwise. And I only use this comb. I can't get a brush through my hair at all, especially when it's wet, but I can't use any kind of brush because this white is calm. And I only comb it once a day when I wash it, after I wash it and put the leaf in. I'll show you my clump of hair in a minute. It looks horrible. <laughs> a huge ball of hair, but it's really not that much. It's just really long. It really doesn't take me that long. I actually think the less time I need to do with my hair when it's short like this, or long like this, than when it was short. I used to keep it really short and I look like a boy. This is easier to manage. I can actually put it up and do stuff with it. Do that and when it's at my shoulders, I look like 12. One time I grew it out of the past my shoulders and it was like all frizzy and huge. And I looked like Weird Al, seriously. It was horrible. Maybe I'll finally start getting comfortable with the camera. I'll start talking more. I'm really shy anyway. I have trouble talking, but I feel really weird talking to camera. So you'll have to excuse me if I don't talk a whole lot. But then once I start talking, I ramble, so I just want to stop. Once I run the comb through, I have to finger comb it. This is the only time I can vary in the whole day, but I can finger comb my hair. I can't get my fingers through it later, my ends stick together, and I feel like I'm going to break it off, so I don't even try to do it. I feel like I'm contributing to a lot less damage that way. I feel like my hair is stronger this way. It's better wet than it is dry. It's 
braid or see how long it is. It's just by the classic. It's like within an inch. It's almost there. Okay. Here. This is just from me combing it. In the shower, I get like twice as much. But it's really not that much. It looks like a lot. It is long. And now I'm going to bun it. If I leave it up for two to three hours, then I don't have to braid it. Otherwise, I can braid it. The only way I can braid it is after I've bunned it for a little bit or while it's wet. I can't braid it dry. And so far, I haven't noticed any damage doing it like that. Because the ends stick together. If I try to braid it dry, it doesn't work at all. And if you don't have one of these, you should really get one. These turkey twists are awesome. I've had one for like three months now. It really helps my hair dry a whole lot faster, and I can actually fit it in that. I just have to fold the ends. Okay, I guess that's it.